Hi guys and welcome back to Eden's Angora. Today I'm going to cover a really important topic and that is how to prevent and how to treat wool mites in your Angora rabbits. Wool mites are a really nasty thing to have to deal with and it freaks a lot of new Angora rabbit owners out when they look to the skin of their Angora and they'll see something that looks like dandruff. It just completely ruins your wool. You can't use it for anything. It gets it, anyway, I won't go into more detail than that because it is super easy to prevent and treat wool mites. The only time I've ever had a problem with them is when I've deviated from my own program of treatment. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick with a little eclair here. Don't worry, you don't have to stick a needle in your rabbit. So it's, it's pretty simple. Um, so you go to tractor supply and hopefully you can see that. You get something called agromectin. You're looking for an injectable ivermectin. Don't worry, you don't have to inject it, but I also don't want you to pour it on your rabbits. Um, I could see that causing some, some skin irritation. I don't really know if it would because I just would never do it. It's gross to me. Um, when you can feed it to them internally, and then it's systemic, so it'll just cover their whole body. You don't have to worry about distribution over the skin of your rabbit. The thing is, is it tastes pretty gross to them. So that is where I've had my issue. I've had, I started out grabbing them and um, syringing it into their mouth, but they really would fight me hard on that and it affected our relationship, which is not something I wanted to continue doing. Um, so, this is my method and I really hope it works for you too. So you're gonna take your agromectin and you're gonna put a good amount of it in your syringe depending on how many rabbits you need to treat that day. Now you're only going to give them two drops of this. So my favorite method is using basil leaves because they're shaped like little boats. Yeah, that's cute, isn't it? Um, I just, they're strong tasting leaf and rabbits have a really, really keen um, sense of smell and they love basil. So it just works out really well. First, I'm gonna feed her a few leaves just to let her know this is something really fun and good and most of them don't have anything gross on them. And then I'm gonna take one of my little boats and just very carefully drop two drops of the ivermectin in it. If you get three or four, you're not gonna hurt your rabbit. Then I'm gonna fold the leaf over because it 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 is a horrible tasting thing. They can smell it a mile away. And then I'm gonna see if I can get her to eat this leaf because she's been excited about all of the other leaves, right? So it's just that easy. She's treated for wool mites or preventatively treated. She doesn't have wool mites. What happens if your rabbit does have wool mites? Well, this will knock it out, um, but I want you to repeat this in two weeks. So my maintenance is every month. Once a month on the dot, treat all of my rabbits. But if they have wool mites, I want you to repeat this in two weeks. And before you know it, you'll have a healthy rabbit. Um, also, it's a good idea to put on a mask and gloves and clothes that you'll throw right in the washer and blow them out. Try to get, if they have that dandruffy look to their skin, try to get that off of there and get that coat healthy as soon as possible. If it's a severe case, you might just wanna to shave to the skin. You don't have to bathe them, and I would never recommend that. Just blow them out, shave them if you have to, and treat them with this really, really simple method, and you'll be wool mite free in no time. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're on board for more Angora knowledge, um, please subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. And please visit me on Instagram at Eden's Angora. My Facebook page really needs some help. So if you wouldn't mind liking my Facebook page at Eden's Angora, I'd really appreciate that. And you can visit me on Etsy again at Eden's Angora. I have a sh an Etsy shop and would really appreciate your support. Thank you so much, guys. Bye. Hello again. You thought you got rid of me, right? Um, I forgot another important thing to remember is that ivermectin is also a wormer 
and it treats ear mites. So that's why I'm highly recommending you run out, get this ASAP. It's like less than 20 bucks and it'll last you forever, depending on how many rabbits you have. And I treat all breeds with this because it treats wool mites, yes, but that's also fur mites, ear mites, gone, no issue, right? And your rabbits are wormed. So really with such a bacteria prone animal, why would you not, why would you not treat this, treat your rabbit tree with this every month and you'll just save yourself a lot of grief. All right, take care, bye.